Today on MTG Unpacked, we're getting stuck into the new Disney Lorcana into the Inkland starter decks. So we have here Ruby and Sapphire and Amber and Emerald. So let's take a look at the Ruby and Sapphire one. Uncle Scrooge there, looking forward to it. So what do we get in here? We got our starter deck, 11 damage counters, paper playmat, tracker token, game rules, and a booster pack. All right. So let's get into this. So these things are excellent for learning the game. I actually tried them out with family, uh, the previous starter decks, and they were pretty easy to learn. So let's see if we can get into here. There we go. And we have our deck. All right, we'll set that aside. And then what do we got in here? So we have a flyer, booster pack, and a playmat thing. Let's take a look at this. So it's just paper, but it gives you an idea. So you've got your law counting there. You want to get up to 20. There's how you lay out your game board. And so basically the same thing on the other side. And then we have some damage counters. The law counter thing there as well. Okay. And let's get into our booster pack first. I want to see what's in here. Uh, we have had some luck with this set already. So let's check it out. We start off here with Bestow a Gift. Followed by Kit, Cloud Kicker, Kira, Della Duck, and what is this? Deville Manor. Okay, so we do have some locations here. That's the new mechanic in this set. We've got Cleansing Rainwater, Last Ditch Effort, and Jolly Roger. Followed by Genie, and the rare is Map of Treasure Planet. What else? Oh, we got a super rare piglet, the Pooh Pirate Captain, along with a foil, the Bayou. And then, of course, in every pack, they tell you about locations. So, a little bit of info there if you are new to locations. All right, so let's set that aside. We'll take a look here. Oh, it's an actual booklet. Okay, quick start rules. This is cool. So this uh, gets you all set up with the game. They are telling you about locations as well. Okay, so we have parts of the card. Setting up, playing the game. Whole bunch of rules here. Okay, so this is really helpful. If you're just getting started, that's pretty much everything you need. Multiplayer games, you can actually have three or more players. And that actually works pretty well. Okay, so there's our rule book. Let's get into the deck itself. So we've got one of these paper wrappings here. Very environmentally friendly of them. And looks like we have a foil card on the top. And actually it's stuck there. Okay, nearly went flying. Okay, so we start off here with a foil Moana. Nice. Along with Scrooge McDark. My hero, there he is. I'm trying to pull a uh, enchanted version of that one. Uh, next we have Della Duck. So we're getting, let's see, three of those. Okay, hey, hey. So you will get duplicates in these decks. We've got three of those. Kakamora. We're probably just going to get three of everything. Yep. Maui. So we have three Mauis. Mini Mouse. Okay, two of those. Moana. So we've got three of those. And Simba. One of those. Webby van der Quack. So we have three of those. Dragonfire, banished chosen character. Two of those. Voyage. Two of those. Oh, a rare. Maui's fish hook. That's cool. Sumerian talisman. Two of those, and then of course we do have some locations here. You won't find these in the other decks. So Agrabah, we have 
Three of those. Cogsworth, the talking clock. Dewey, the showy nephew. Okay, another Cogsworth, another Dewey. Duke Weaselton. We have two of those. Flint Heart Glomgold, a lone cheater. I guess there's uh, a treasure hunt or something going on. You get two of those. Flounder. And we have three of those. Gramatala. Let's see. Three of those as well. Gyro Gearloose. Isn't he from DuckTales, I think? One of those. Oh, Huey. Here we go. The Savvy Nephew. And Louie. All right. I was wondering if we got all three. He's the Chill Nephew. So two, three of those. Maid Marion. And we get two of those. More Scrooge McDuck. Awesome. Okay, so this is different. The first one was Richest Stuck in the World. This is Uncle Moneybags. So one, two of those. Vault Door. We get two of those. And another location. Motanui. Awesome. So two of those. All right. So that is a nice deck there. I'm glad they put the locations in so you can get used to playing with that new mechanic. And I'm not sure if I showed off the complete deck list here. If you wanted to build this on your own, it's all right there on the side of the packaging. Okay, so let's get on to our next one here. So we've got Peter Pan, Amber and Emerald. And so you can read about that there. It's going to be all the same sort of stuff. Obviously the deck is going to be different. But uh, let's see what we get out of this. And if you've missed any of the other starter decks or Lorcana content on the channel, check out the link in the corner for the complete playlist. Okay, so getting into here. Here we go, there's our deck. And of course, not to forget, we have the complete deck list here. If you want to build that without having one of these. Okay, so there is our deck. Let's see. So we have some punch outs here. The same things as before. I won't go through the rules and the other thing. It's just the same. And you know what? Let's get into our booster pack here. A lot of fun cracking these packs. Okay, so we have Olympus would be that way. And by the way, these are randomized, so you're probably not going to get the same stuff I do. Della Duck, I will find my way. Magic Broom, King Louie, and Boss's Orders, it calls me. And the Bayou. Okay, so there's the Mysterious Swamp, along with Scroop. And the rare is Gustav the Giant. And we also have RLS Legacy. All right. Followed by a Hollow of Kida and our location cards. I should say the actual decks here themselves, these are not randomized. So you'll get exactly what you see pictured here in this video. Okay, so we start off with our foils. We have Pongo of the 101 Dalmatians. Followed by Peter Pan. So this is Lost Boy Leader. There are some Peter Pans in other sets as well. Here we go. Dalmatian Puppy. What is that? The uh, Tail Wagger. We got another one there. Oh, different artwork I noticed. But the same card. Okay, that's cool. So three, four, five of those. What? Oh, <laughs> Where did all those come from? You may have up to 99 copies of Dalmatian Puppy Tail Wagger in your deck. Okay, I was wondering, like, normally they only have three or four. So these guys, we've got five of those. See if we can get any more. That's fun. We've got Kida. Two, three of those. Oh, more puppies here. Lucky, the 15th puppy. Nanny, and two of those. Patch, the Intimidating Pup. Okay, so if you like the 101 Dalmatians, you probably like this deck. So we've got three of those. Pluto, Determined Defender, and another Pluto, Friendly Pooch. Okay, a little bit different. So two, 
three of those rolly hungry pup all the food is gone feed that poor little pup will you tinkerbell generous fairy and we have two of those wendy darling three of these all right now we're moving on to locations we have neverland so mermaid lagoon makes sense you got peter pan in here so we get two of those and cubby mighty lost boy more peter pan stuff so three of those don carnage prince of pirates that is two of those flotsam we have two of those helga sinclair horace and two horace's jasper I think these guys were in a previous set as well. So two of those. Jetsam, again. Two more of those. Kit Cloud Kicker. Two of those. Robin Hood Daydreamer. Starkey Devious Pirate. Wildcat. We got uh, two of those. Hypnotize. Two of those. Improvise. Three of these and strike a good match. Two of those and then location. We have Deville Manor and I'm guessing another one of those. Yep, actually we get three in total. Okay, so there we go. These are the starter decks for Into the Ink Clans. Running you about 15 bucks on TCG Player or your local game store. Let me know in the comments what you think about these. Have you actually played with these decks? Were they a lot of fun? Let me know. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.